Hey, my fellow people in the web, stuff like that. I'm Demon, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves in the last episode. We did some missions, which you can't see right now, but we did the missions to get the last two engines done and over with. In this episode, we're going to be taking on Mega Jump Job to see what this does. I bet it makes us jump real high. Okay, Sly, we need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blip. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. Okay, so uh, sorry if I, you see like hear any background noise in this because uh, since, I'm, it's, uh, since it's actually the first time using the Blue Yeti for an actual recording, what I mean by actual recording is like... Uh, like, recording for, uh, an actual LP video. I already did test recordings on it, so I know how it sounds. It sounds pretty good. I already got the settings pretty good. I have it on, so it only picks out of the front of the mic, so it shouldn't pick up that many background noise, but there might be the occasional car going by, so that might, uh, kind of throw it off at times, but where's the first one? Oh, yeah, also, press R2, you do a mega jump. I didn't say that. Okay. But, yeah, you actually press R2, and you can do a mega jump, which you can jump to extreme heights. Like, from here, you can jump all the way up here like that. Awesome. And, yeah, that's basically it. And I thought he... Oh, yeah, I forgot. He climbs up like a regular thing. I thought he climbed up like a pole. And, oh, you know, when you don't want to fight a guard, you just jump over them like that. And then, oh, crap, I forgot. We need, actually need to jump like this, or... Oh, I remember what we have to do. We have to actually uh, jump over onto here. And then jump like that to there. And I guess that's not where you're supposed to... Whoa, God. That's probably the worst ever placement to ever do that. Wait, what? Okay, I, I know what we're supposed to do. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do now. I see. You jump here to get onto this, and then you jump over here. Oh, yeah, uh, it makes so much sense now, you know? Okay, that's better. Now, as you see here, there's a crack there. We just need to jump over through the crack. And the only thing you have to do with these things, if I can actually uh, get up here correctly, is just ninja spire jump on them. Be careful when you ninja spire jump, because you don't want to accidentally like go on something that you didn't want to ninja spire jump. So, uh, where's another one? Okay, another one's over there. But with a mega jump, we could just go over there very fast without any problems. Yeah, this is why I love the Mega Jump. Also, uh, there's actually a cool thing with the Mega Jump you can- Ah, God. There's a cool thing you can do with the Mega Jump, which is basically, uh, like, if you actually go to the select screen and put this, put, like, the Mega Jump to, like, a different button, you can keep it after this, but you cannot keep it till the end of the game. Like, I mean, you can only, like, just keep playing with it or whatever, and that's not the way you're supposed to go. You're supposed to- I'm supposed to be going this way, right? Wait, am I... Yep, that is okay. No, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to pull that out. Ugh. I was almost going to explain something that was in Sly 3, but now thinking of it, I really don't want to because that'd just be spoiling something in another game. I mean, it's only a little bit of mechanic, but it's not, like, huge mechanic or whatever. I don't know. It's actually very hard now in this new recording setup to see, like, what time I'm on in recording. Oh, I forgot. I actually need to press the button. Dang it. What am I doing? I'm being all weird doing this stuff, and I don't even know. I'm just trying to see, and then I'm like, oh, you have to press the button. Okay, there we go. Now let's do some uh, dangerous platforming, but again, with a mega jump, we can get through there, and horrible render distance. God, I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know the render distance was like, hooey, shut your mouth, slap your grandma. Holy God. I don't even know why I said that. Oh, yeah, I did, because I actually had my birthday party yesterday. Yeah, I'm finally 14, even though I turned it on the 13th, which that's what I got this mic for. I, like, like I'm trying to say, I actually got this mic for my birthday, my B-Day, and stuff like that. And wait, can we actually make it to the top of this thing with this thing? I feel like we can. Can we? Can we? Oh, come on. So, uh, we at least made it up here. Okay, that was a good shortcut. We didn't need to do the other stuff, but it would have been awesome if I just... Whoa, whoa, I jumped through the thing, and we were at the same height as Cl No, we're above Clockwa right now. We're more superior than her beings of Clockwa. Ah, it looks like Carmelita has picked up on our signal. She's now headed on an intercept course directly for us. And so that is the last time you're ever going to be seeing that job complete thing. Oh well, yeah, I forgot to say, this is actually the finale, or I mean, maybe one part of the finale, I'm not so sure. But yeah, after that mission, you do not have the Mega Jump anymore, so that's sad. They say there are, like, bottles you can get only with the Mega Jump, but I actually saw an LP that said you don't need it, because he got all of them without using the Mega Jump. Took him a while, but whatever. I'm not here to advertise LPs, I'm here to advertise my own LP. 
So yeah, watch this video even though you're already watching it. Yeah, okay. So anyways, let's go into the final mission of the game. Well, first to kill this guy. I do you do not deserve to live. Thank you. Now let's go actually go to the mission. Carmelita's gunner. Looks like for once let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat. Okay, so now we're at a dogfight with Clockla Yay. Now this fight is actually somewhat hard and I need to get used to these flimsy controls here. I feel like my PS2 control stick's really not doing all that good now. But yeah, this fight, I hate this fight. Uh, that's all I'm saying right now, I hate it. Because like, I mean, you can zoom in here, I'm just saying, but uh, I like to zoom out for the whole thing. But like I said, I hate this fight. One, you have to shoot all these missiles and I did not get hit by that, I shot that missile. <clears throat> but yeah, and also you have to shoot Clockla, but shooting Clockla is like the hardest thing ever to do. This clock was just way over there, and you're trying to shoot her, and it's such a horrible, like, distance to shoot her. I mean, we're doing damage to her, but yeah, it gets definitely a lot harder, though, because she's only on her first phase. But yeah, this is basically the whole final boss. There are other parts to it, but I, I like to call this, like, the really only part to the final boss, and I forgot that thing overheated, so yeah. Yeah, but this is actually only, like, the real, actually, fighting part. Okay, actually, there are a fighting part, but oh, yeah. Now we get introduced in this fight, the Red Missiles. And now, what basically the Red Missiles do is you need to hit it twice, and when he's when she's doing that, you need to start hitting her and start hitting her! Crap! Okay, when that happens, you need to start hitting her. I forgot she did that attack, so you gotta, like, remember, because that thing means she's gonna shoot a huge beam that's gonna kill you. Not kill you, but it means it's gonna hurt you, like, very bad. So you gotta be careful about that. So that's why whenever you see that, you just wanna keep shooting at her so much so she just stops doing that. Which, yeah, eventually it will stop, and yeah. Hopefully we can do pretty good on this. I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest person on this fight. Who oh god. I mean, I'm not, the, like, the best person at this fight. Because, like I said, it's not the easiest fight in the world. Because, so, I mean, of course, they had to have the gunner mission for, the like, the final boss of the game. I'd just rather have, like, the first game with Clockla because that was, like, easy as hell. And, okay, I can't believe I did that. Also, if you want to know, that's, it took me, actually took me forever to find out that you have to actually hit her like that. And also, a little tip is that you do not need to hit her, like, for every single time. Oh yeah, a new enemy thing right there. Okay, I got hit, but you have to actually hit the outside of that in order to actually get through it. Come on, come on, hit her, hit her, hit her. I don't want to get, I don't want to get hit by that. I don't want, okay, well, God, okay, I got hit by that, but whatever. You need to actually be very careful because I am running low on health. But I, I do have the magical powers of cutting just in case something. Also, I usually don't like shooting the missiles when she's like, uh, when she actually shoots those, uh, like, ring things. Because you might accidentally shoot it, uh, like, hit the missile thing again. But you do not want that. Hit okay, thank you. Oh, God. I need to stop. Luckily, the missiles don't do that much damage. The only thing that really does a lot of damage and you need to watch out for is that one little thing. And I uh, shoot that. Thank you. Okay, where are you? Oh, God. Okay, I'm do not doing good, but at least she's, uh, getting on her last, uh, thing, and I'm actually surprised I'm not feeling nervous when fighting this boss! And, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, God, how am I, how did I not die? How did I not die? And, oh, God, what? Holy God. I'm probably gonna die on this, and if I do die, I'm just gonna cut out until I get this, or until I get close to getting it. Because, like I said, this boss can take a while, and I need to start shooting her, because she's gonna shoot that another ray of light, and I'm not- I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead! Oh, holy god. Oh god, I'm dead. Okay, I don't know how good I'm doing, but I'm just gonna start talking right now, because I think I'm about where I was in the fight, with a lot more health than I had. Well, oh yeah, this isn't actually my first try after that, it's because- Oh god, I lost more health, but this is not the first try after it, because the first try after it was like, holy god, that was even worse than the first try with commentary. So I was like, wait, do I really want to commentate this or something, or... Oh god, how did I not get hit by that? Holy... And I'm pretty sure we're actually getting close to when they're supposed to stop the fight. Not stop the fight, but you, you'll see what I mean when we actually get towards it. And... Oh god, okay. Oh god, nah, crap. Oh, oh god. Just... Yes! That was some terrific shooting. Upset, 
Okay, the main reason I said yeses like that is because I just had like a little bit of like a sliver of health left. I knew I was getting close to when they were going to stop the fight, but... Ooh, the part I used to hate about this level, but now it's really not all that bad. Hold on. Okay, what we have to do now is we have to actually paraglide through this, all this like weird crap we have to go through. It's just like paraglide from object to object. I thought it was actually pretty cool when I first saw it because, as you know, the blimp kind of fell us go. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, because basically if you get hit or if you actually fall down, you automatically die. And uh, let me just uh, quickly pause this so I can tell my mom that I am recording. Sorry about that. That's basically just because, uh, well, my mom just got home from work, I guess, which is weird because it's only three... I don't know. My mom usually actually gets out of work at four, which I find weird and... Actually, uh, I was probably gonna say that I am actually not on some. What is it with me in that part? I never like get, have trouble with that. I mean, I never used. I mean, I used to have trouble with this part, but I never have trouble with that fan. What? Okay, let's let's see if we can actually uh, do this with less fail, shall we? This fan, this fan is the bane of my existence. It never usually is the bane of my exist. Oh my God, we got past the damn fan! Holy God, that's like. It's like a miracle worker, dang, holy god. But yep, we're still going through the debris and stuff. You want to try to like time your jumps correctly, I mean, you don't need to, but it will be actually pretty good, but I mean, well, the debris, I mean, I actually find it a pretty cool way of how they did this. Let me just wait a little bit, because I do, you do want to get on top of that thing. The reason why you want to get on top of it is because it's going to be a lot easier if you can get on top of it, which I didn't, and I fell. Oh god, that was close. Also, you're a little floaty when you jump. Got past the fan. Okay, now we're actually on top of this because now... Because actually getting towards this if you're on the bottom is actually very hard to do. And holy god, okay. This actual part is actually hard because you do know, god, 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 need to actually make it over here. I missed it. But do I missed. Thank god there are no lives in this game. Okay, now this is actually, like I said, the hard part is because you do not want to get hit by the fan. Oh god, okay. You do not want to get hit by that fan there, because that fan will be the bane of your existence if you get hit by that fan. Oh, come on. Oh, holy God, how did I do that? And we are almost to where we have to finish this level off and do not... Okay, thank you for not upturning. And finally, we finally over here. And I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene right about now. You want a piece of me? Don't worry. There's plenty to go around. You might have a new body, Neela. But you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can. I might not have been without you on a few hits, but I've got some, some power growing within me. Okay, so now let's start this battle thing here with... Clockla, Neela, I almost said Clockla, but Clockla and Neela. Basically, what we have to do is we have to smack her eyes out. Yeah, that kind of sounds a little weird, but we that's basically what you have to do here. Whoa, whoa, God. Okay, so I don't even know if those blasts actually do anything. But like I said, you just smack them like that, and that's it. We, we did it. It's an emotional moment. Die, insects! Die! My hate will smash you! Watch out! That thing's still kicking. Lakla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery! I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bomb! Okay, now let's actually start the final, final part of this final boss of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. So now what we have to basically do with Murray is we have to lift up Neela, Clockla, Neela, or I'm gonna go with Clockla's mouth, and you can probably hear my X button mashing a lot louder since I have the Blue Yeti microphone using this. Okay, that's better. You, okay. Uh, 
Uh, I think she's getting a little uh, overconfident with herself, I really don't know. But what we have to do now is we have to actually uh, place bombs and blow up these laser things. I don't know why we have to blow up the laser things, but uh, according to this, we have to actually blow the lasers. I don't know. And now, let's end the game by getting the hate chip. Okay, we gotta do this in style. This is the end of the LP, finally. The last button we press in the game, the circle button, so let's press it. Three, two, one. Let's get out of here! She's about to explode! Holy God! My glasses! I'd care a little bit more about my- more than glasses on that, I'm just saying. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand, the hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived with me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything, books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! And that, guys, was Sly 2, Band of Thieves. I don't know why I'm talking right now, but whatever. Seeing you soon, retail. Let's talk about your production. Okay, now let's start to the credits of Sly 2, Band of Thieves. All I want to say is finally, finally we are done with this LP. If you gotta count like a not with the break, like if you know not with the break, I probably would have finished this back in like March or so. But since the break, it went from January 19th to June 18th, almost six damn months. Okay, but yeah, I'm actually very happy that Sly 2 is finally done. It's mainly because, I don't know, it's just, I mean, I really like the game. Just, I kind of wanted it done eventually. And let's actually get into certain weird things right here. Well, not right now, but featuring the voices of Kevin Miller, awesome, and I'm not going to be criticizing that. What to talk else to talk about? Oh, yeah, also, uh, 
Thanks for everyone who stuck through watching this LP, even though I did have the break, which I know the break was just me doing Galaxy 2, that's it. And also, Galaxy 2 is only a 120 star run, just saying, because I tried doing certain stuff and it just wouldn't work. Or, I just suck. Inspector Cumberly the Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose current whereabouts are still unknown. Ooh, you probably didn't know why I could speak that fast. Well, I don't know, I'm not really the best reader, but Dimitri went on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Yeah, I mean, I'm, the only reason I'm good at reading this is because I actually really know, like, I remember what they say. Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Carpet King! The Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee, whatever. Milwaukee area, that was the last uh, words or whatever. Jean Basson went on to work for the EPA. But ended up frozen yet again on a mission saving baby penguins. And that was kind of weird because I could barely read that. And it's actually pretty cool because these credits are actually fairly short. Like, as you see, like, the credits are going down right here. That's, this is basically the end of the credits. Yeah, like I said, the credits are only, like, two minutes long. Which I really like because I really do not like long credits on end games. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. Best ending line of a video game ever. I mean, that's the best I've ever played, and I haven't played that many video games in my life, but last time you're gonna see that. So, yep. Sly 2, Band of Thieves, is done. And yeah, 99% because I didn't get all the bottles, but yeah. Thank you all for watching this great Let's Play. I had so much fun recording it, even though I did have the break from not having fun, but I had so much fun recording this and that square thing I'll tell you later. I'll just go scroll on that this so we won't hear that. No, we have to go episode 6 so we wouldn't see that, so yeah. So again, thank you for watching this awesome LP. Well, I'm not saying awesome, I mean great LP for me to record. So this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, saying see you later, and see me in my next LP. Bye.